Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Now, so much on for a talk video. Today's video is something a bit different again. But before we get into it, guys, the recent point of challenge has been absolutely excellent. And since you know the, the car start felt very on the three times we learned from the Michelin game, the first leg, it's been the views have been great in the channel and the subscriptions have went up as well. We've hit, let me just check, 1,108 1, subscriptions on current recording this. Uh, but I would like a big, big thanks to you guys because if it wasn't happening, it would happen, of course. Um, I wouldn't be here sitting today, but I'm sitting here today, guys, because my suggestion is free. This is free J League right backs. Ange Postecoglou should try to attempt to get um, one of the, one of them, you know, because we're we're need a right backs, of course, not just right backs, of course, but we finally got a defender and door, an experienced player who will be playing throughout the season, of course, a replacement for Christopher Ayew, Carlos Starfield. He's in the door. He's a done deal. Isolation stuff is a big problem for us because now I was expecting maybe a Michelin game. No, the potential game is Dundee game at home or potentially Hearts away the first league game of the season, which is on the 31st of July. Now, um, we seriously need a goalkeeper as well. Um, I was going to do a video on that, but it wasn't going to make much, it was going to make a wee bit of sense, but it wasn't going to last long. And I thought, what's the point? It's not going to last long and it's not going to really, it's not really help you guys explain what you know why Celtic potentially should buy this goalkeeper. Uh, it's a Belgian goalkeeper anyway, um, basically, you know, saying, come and get me Celtic, but, you know, we're in serious need of a goalkeeper, right back, of course, because we've only got Anthony Rouse, and that's it. I mean, you know, if there's a market, Ange Postecoglou knows, I uh, know, sorry, um, is the J-League. Having won the title of Yoka with Manos and becoming beloved by supporters nationwide in the process, the Celtic boss is pulling power in the Far East. He's already flexed contacts by um, bringing in obviously Kyogo Furuhashi, one of the J-League's top talents in Celtic and Ange Postecoglou were delighted to bring in such t such much needed firepower to the for the next season coming ahead now. Um, that's all very good, however the boys need to strengthen our positions too. Former J-League defender Go Ak Akakura, sorry, Ak Itakura, sorry, Go Itakura, linked with Celtic, wants to play for a world famous club. He'd be an excellent option in the middle, I feel, because, however, it's a right back that's needed, it needs strengthened most. So, with his ex expertise in the J-League and a reputation that will help any negotiations in Japan, uh, who could Celtic look at both to, you know, to help him at the right side of the defence? Well, first person, it's going to be a challenge to say it. Mickey Yaman. <laughs> Yaman. <laughs> A J-League assist machine who suits Celtic uh, under Ange Postecoglou. If you want goals and assists from a right-back, Celtic, yes, we do need, yes. Uh, a right-back position, Mickey Yaman. Um, Yaman, I'm pretty sure that's how I'm, I'm saying it right, of uh, Kawasaki Frontale is your man. Comfortable at either right-back or centre-back, we do need a right-back, you know, potentially right centre-back as well, which is great. Um, Yaman is 27 and earned four caps off, I'm pronouncing the name wrong, but that's how I can see it, for the Japan national team. Interestingly, his contract runs in, out in January of 2022 and clubs will certainly be interested. Uh, why would they be interested, of course? Uh, in the 2020, last season there alone, Yaman set up 10 goals and scored twice as a right-back. Well, I mean, as a right-back itself, you know, scoring twice and setting up 10 goals. Well, that's what we need itself to do. I think Ange Bosco will do very well, you know, trying to help him. Cause he knows the jolly, 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 jolly good sell, and he you knows the, the, you know the, the, you know the bargains over there. Each and get we've already got one of Kuro, uh, Kurohashi. Um, he led the. We were playing. Were he playing for? Blah, blah, blah. Were he playing for South the last season? Could have helped loops for a total for total assist basically. You know what I mean? It's the kind of production Celtic could certainly use from that slot. Not that he sl uh, slouch defensively either. Um, the team have only conceded 15 goals in 22 games, a Super Cup, Japanese Cup and a J-League winner with front tail. It might be the time for the 27 year old to consider his options outside of his home country. If that's the case, post call out to be on the, the, that case, um, out on the phone, adapt at playing in the middle uh, to his position, versatility, versatility sorry, could well suit the inverted fullback system that Celtic boss wants to use. Another one now, it's uh, Takiro Yanaki, a six foot speed merchant. Now, 
here's a guy who impressed who who impressed Celtic fans. The boys have generally played some pretty short fullbacks in recent seasons since Mikko Lustig. We've seen Jeremy Frimpong, Anthony Ralston, Guy Taylor, Aaron Montgomery, and all non giants fill the, the back rows. Hatim Mohamed aside, it's all been an area of the park dominated by smaller guys. Nothing wrong with that, of course, but if you can combine height with speed, you're onto something as far as fullbacks go, of course. Um, the t um, This player, Taka, Takahiro Yanagai, Fits the, fits the bill. Like from Paul, the 24 year old, um, I am not going to pronounce that, fullback, um, likes to rove further up the, the park. Where on an actual duty or in the J League, Yanagi Yan likes to pick up the ball in advanced positions and cut inside. Alternatively, he can out the muscle counter attacking left wingers, which is great as well, and carry the ball in himself into dangerous zones of the park. Having played his way up the Japanese um, football in Pyramid, and capped a youth international level. This six foot flyer has bags of pace and solid um, first touch that gets himself out of trouble. Um, he's also a co his contract also runs out in January 2022. Uh, the last player, guys, of the video. Hopefully, I enjoyed it, guys. If you haven't enjoyed it so far, please subscribe, like, and share the video. Uh, the next and last final player is Teruki Hara, a versatile J League option who would fit the inverted fullback system as Raj Paul Kogo. I know I, I reckon. We'll look back on the inverted fullback thing and laugh. What fools we were, we'll say. Uh, that this seemed uh, like a new idea. Now everyone's doing it. It makes so much sense. But for Celtic to get the best out of this ta the tactic, they need they might need to go to look at um, the, this guy's team, um, Teru Kihara. Um, the twenty-two year old is normally a right normal normal right back, but he's played on the left, either centre back slot and on either side of the midfield. That's versatility and it's not if uh, if he's a you know, um with over a oh, sorry guys, I don't know what I'm about there. You know, he's got over a hundred career appearances and at just twenty two year age, wow, this guy can play a bit. I'm telling you that from just the stats there I can tell you that yeah, this guy can play a bit. I stand out for a struggling uh S Paul side Hara has ad added some attacking bite to his game, he's managed two goals and one assist in the J League thus far, but it's what he does in the build up that's, that's more exciting. Um, adapt, uh, clearing the ball, adept or something, I can't remember. Uh, Hara um, can pick a, a pass from deep, quickly turning defence into attack, that's what Postacogo is looking for from his defenders. Furthermore, he's keen to drop deep and come in certain uh, Centrally to spray passes into the wide positions or to an attacking exploring space, which post cock would be great as post uh, potentially and technically, uh, positionally sorry and technically. I don't know how to get post potentially. Uh, he has all the tools at twenty two. He's still got time on his uh, on his side, and for whatever reason, he's also got a contract from February twenty twenty two. And that is the video, guys. And that is three J J League right backs and post cock should try to attempt. To Celtic. Now, I speak about the three centre backs, the right backs. Sorry, guys, we're in certain need of a right back, not just one right back. You know, we could get two in for you know the depth. Goalkeeper, we are really struggling because obviously I was, I'm trying to bark, but trying to back bark us, but and the great words, the famous called from Arsenal fan TV, bark us. It's time to go. <laughs> I, I, it's time to go because. We've had chances obviously last season, we thought, you know, let's get him a fresh start on Dan's post Coglu. He's been very shaky to be honest, you know, pre seasons that, but the goal from the Michelin game, it's yeah, absolutely a joke, it's an absolute joke. Um, any other goalkeeper I see is just going to be, you know, it's just an absolute joke. And Barkas, again, it's a goalkeeper, and it's not, it's not, it's not going to be a great save of the world, but it's a save that a goalkeeper should be making. So, do you know what I mean? So, God knows who we're going to get in goalkeeper. I've seen a few links today, but. God knows who we're going to get if we can get a goalkeeper in, but anyway, guys, hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, subscribe, like, share the video as per usual, and I'll see you guys very shortly for my um, probably next week should be a great week for the, the content and the videos on the channel. So, wait till then, guys.